Hello, this is Rashi Sahai and you're watching Medi Circle. Today on our Cancer Awareness Series, we have Dr. Shivam Shingla with us. Dr. Shivam Shingla is a consultant medical oncologist in SL Raheja Hospital Fortis, Mumbai. For the past eight years, he has worked in this field. Welcome to Medi Circle, Dr. Shivam Shingla. Thank you so much, Rashi, for having me here. And I would like to thank Medi Circle for giving this nice opportunity for me to reach out to people. So, uh, Doctor, over a decade, the incidence rate of thyroid cancer in India in women have increased from 2.4 percentage to 3.9 percentage, and for men, from 0.9 percentage to 1.3 percentage, and a relative increase of 62 uh, 62 percentage to 48 percentage, respectively. So, thyroid cancer is the seventh most common cancer in women in women as well. So, Doctor, can you please tell us what exactly thyroid cancer is, and what are the symptoms and causes for this? So basically, uh, so you know, soluble cause for thyroid cancer. The one of the most common causes for thyroid cancer is lack of iodine in diet. Now, since we have started eating salt, uh, which is iodine rich, most of the thyroid cancers are occurring because of genetic predispositions. Thyroid cancer is a tumor of the thyroid gland. The gland is present in the neck of all individuals. Its main purpose is to produce thyroid hormone. Now, once these thyroid glands they become abnormal, they get growth or a swelling. The symptoms of thyroid cancer are pretty straightforward. These people complain of swelling or heaviness in the neck, and once the, you try and try to swallow something, the swelling moves along with the neck mass. So, what precautions can one take to prevent thyroid cancer? The only precaution which is known to prevent thyroid cancer is take iodinated salt. Have a high intake of fruits and vegetables. Apart from this, any cancer today can be the incidence can be reduced by good exercise and a good sleeping cycle. So these are the general precautions and the iodine salt for the thyroid cancer specific. So uh, how to treat thyroid cancer? Can you tell us? So the main aim of you know main aim of treatment for thyroid cancer is cure. When we when we see a thyroid cancer patient, we want to cure that patient. It is very easy for us to treat the cancer today because most of these cancers are detected in early stages. the The simplest treatment for thyroid cancer is a thyroid surgery, where we go and dissect the neck and remove the thyroid gland. After this surgery, some of these patients do require radioactive iodine, which is a targeted treatment, and that's it. Some of the patients may require radiotherapy, but there is no role of chemotherapy in thyroid cancer. Okay, doctor. So I would like to ask that: uh, How can a person identify whether they are having just thyroid or a thyroid cancer? So basically, if you have an individual who's got a neck swelling, the first thing they should do is reach out to their general physician. The general physician would then tell them to get an ultrasound of the thyroid. Now, on the ultrasound of the thyroid, we can pick up whether the swelling is a simple, benign, non-cancerous swelling, or it is something which is bigger. And uh, could be abnormal. When we have a doubt, we do an MRI, and you know we can do a small needle aspiration test from that swelling to identify whether this is malignant or not. It's a very simple procedure, and the failure rates are very low. So we are able to identify all patients correctly today who reach out to our clinic with thyroid swelling. So how can one tell whether their thyroid cancer is getting worse? So there are multiple ways uh, by which patients of thyroid cancer. You know, we can detect whether it's getting worse or better. First is clinical examination where we see for the neck swelling or the symptoms of the patients. If the patient has disease in the lung, which is going to the lung, their cough will increase or the swelling will increase. We have certain tumor markers for thyroid cancer, like thyroglobulin, which is a tumor marker. We can check the blood concentration of that tumor marker. We can also get a PET scan done for patients for repeated evaluations who are currently suffering from thyroid cancer. These are the three ways. In which we identify whether the patient is getting worse or better with the cancer. So, like, what is the maximum age group of people who are suffering from thyroid cancer? So, thyroid cancer has a bi-modal, you know, bi-age uh, presentation. You have patients of thyroid cancer who are young women or young men who present in early stage uh, of their life, thirty or forty years, and you have elderly males or females who present with aggressive form of thyroid cancer. So these are the two peaks of thyroid cancer that we see. It is rare in children. It is rare below the age of 18 years. It is generally seen 
in the age of 20 to 40 years that is when you know this uh, this cancer is most common Okay, doctor. So, on MediCircle, our main focus have always been to provide the audience with large amount of information in less time. So, today we will be conducting a small question answer session in which you can answer us in a one or two line sentences. Yes, please go ahead. So, my first question is that is treatment for thyroid cancer affordable? One hundred percent. The surgery for thyroid cancer would cost about eighty thousand to one lakh rupees, and the radioactive iodine that we use. Is also in this range, so any middle class person can uh, afford this treatment within the insurance. So, like, is thyroid cancer life threatening? So, generally, most of the thyroid cancers are non-life threatening. Uh, they are generally present in stage one. There are only two stages of thyroid cancer, so not really life threatening. Only one form of thyroid cancer is life threatening. We call it anaplastic thyroid cancer, but that's again very very rare. So, how long can thyroid cancer last? So, generally, patients with thyroid cancer who are not curable, they can go on to live for ten to fifteen years. I have patients who have been diagnosed with this cancer over twenty years, and they are still living. It's a low kind of a cancer, but it is so easily preventable. To you know, we can prevent it from spreading. The best is to remove it in the first stage. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much for coming to our show and sharing your valuable time and insights with us at Medi Circle. It has been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you, Rashi. And I hope that any individual who is listening can reach out for help any time through you, and we help to save more and more people. Thank you so Definitely. much. Definitely.